This week and next, we're going to talk about the nervous system, focusing on the function of the nervous system. We will have the anatomy of the nervous system um, after that. So these next two weeks, um, how neurons and the other cells of the nervous system kind of function at a cellular and molecular level. Um, so let's start with what defines the nervous system. What is it? Um, you already know it's a control system. So there are two control systems in the body that control other functions. Um, the nervous system, which is over here on the right, and the endocrine system. So I want to remind you, you do know a little bit about it already. Um, neural cells are excitable. So that is a feature of them. Um, they communicate just like the endocrine system does. So similar thing about these two systems is communication. Nervous system communicates through excitable cells that fire action potentials. Um, these action potentials target other places in the body very specifically. So this is a type of communication that is, um, actually, let me not put that, so directed or targeted communication. It's very fast. And again, very targeted. Um, it could be within the brain that we have signaling or from the spinal cord out all the way to the fingertip. Either way, um, targeting you know, a subset of other cells opposed to what the endocrine is going to be is traveling throughout the bloodstream, targeting everywhere potentially in the body. Um, the one other thing I'll put here, and it's true for both of them, is it's going to use chemical messengers. So in addition to action potentials, the signaling is done from cell to cell via um, a neurotransmitter is the name of the chemical messenger. It is the chemical. And through this, um, this mechanism, it can act as a control system, um, an integrator to target the effector organ or the target organ to have some effect on the body or for signaling within the brain. Endocrine system is also can be an, integrate, an integrator or control center, right? These are both control centers. Um, involved in control of other bodily functions. Endocrine, on the other hand, um, works differently. We're not going to go into details of the endocrine system until the spring, but just a little bit of contrast, um, which you already actually know this, right? We've talked about the endocrine system being chemical messengers traveling in the bloodstream. This means the effects are very widespread. So widespread communication. Any cells that have receptors for the chemical messenger can respond. The chemical messenger is called a hormone. Um, because the messenger is traveling through the bloodstream, the signaling is slower and also lasts longer. It takes time for that um, chemical messenger to diffuse, to come be, go out of the bloodstream, or be broken down. Um, neural signals are variable depending on how often the stimulus is, but each neural signal is very quick. Obviously, you could have continuous um, communication if needed. So 
that's the basics of comparing these two. Um, and again, we'll be focusing on nervous system this week. Um, before that, though, let's do a learning check. <laughs> 